say, how are you doing today? It's the 23rd. Christmas is just around the corner. Whoop, whoop. Um, two more sleeps, isn't it? Two more sleeps. Are you excited, Messy Church? Oh, I bet you are. I'm excited. Are you excited, I am Josh? excited. I, can even, I could even hear them streaming. Yes. Yes. <gasps> we cannot wait. And today, we are going to light our final Advent candle. How exciting. But, Hannah, why do we find ourselves outside these castle dolls again? We're outside the castle again, because our journey isn't quite over. Not over yet. Let's find out what's coming up. Can you remember what our four candles have represented so far, Josh? Yes, the first one was hope. Hope. The second one was love. Love. Third one was joy. Joy. Last one that we did last Sunday was peace. Was peace. And today, let's find out what the last candle is all about. And remember, if you're lighting a candle at home, you need to have a grown-up to help you. So today, we're going to light the Advent candles. And we get to light all five of them, because today, it's Christmas Day and it's Jesus' birthday. So the first candle that we lit on the first Sunday of Advent was for the hope in God that we have. The second can Sunday candle was for the love of Mary, Jesus' mum. The third candle was for the joy of the shepherds when they heard the news of Jesus' birth. The fourth candle is for the peace that the wise men had on their journey. And the fifth candle is for Jesus' birthday, which is today on Christmas Day. So, we're going to say a few prayers. Loving God, we thank you that today we get to celebrate Jesus' birthday, that it is Christmas Day. Let us have the love of God in our lives and carry the light that we see before us every day of our lives going forward. Let Jesus be that light to us. Amen. Thank you so much for lighting our candle today. Fantastic. And that is Christ's candle. Amazing. It's the candle we light to remember Jesus being born in the stable as a tiny baby. Amazing, isn't it? But Hannah, I'm, I'm really excited now to go and see what is through those gates again. Me too. We have one more stop. Are you ready, Messy Church? Are you? I can hear them saying I yes. Think they are. I think let's go for it. Hannah, do you want to go, go first? I'll go first. Let's go. Hannah's just gone through now. It's my turn. Are you ready? Come on, join in. Let's go. We made it. We made it indeed. And we find ourselves outside another door. Another door. I think we should push it and see what's on the other side. Do you? Do you think we should push it? Are you ready, messy chair? Do you want to join us? Come are on, let's do it together. Us? Come on. Ready? Steady. Go! Wow! This is exciting! Look where we are, Hannah! We are on a farm! Hi, Paul! Hello! Wow! I wonder if this is the kind of place that Jesus was born. Well, it says in the Bible he was born in a, in a, in a feeding trot. So it wouldn't have been a very nice hospital or uh, on a very nice uh, bed or something like that. But in one of those situations where things might not be one of the most poshest places to be born in. So not a castle. Not a castle, but something similar to this. What's going on, Forrest? I couldn't get anywhere near the feeding trough. Oh, they pushed all the animals into the corner of the stable. It's fantastic. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this is the life. Did you see what was in the feeding trough? No. Nope. Oh, you want some? There's a baby in there! A baby what? Incoming! Ew! Get it off! Help! I think I'm blind!
mind. Well, what happened? I was outside when there was this blinding light. It was like a person and he was speaking. He said that tonight, the God who created the universe has come. The God who made everything is here now? Yeah. He said you will know who he is because you will find him dressed in baby clothes and lying on a bed of hay. Oh. Phil, what do you think you're supposed to do when God comes to visit? I don't know. See what he has to say? What if the only thing he can say is gaga? See what he does when he grows up, I guess. Oh, just time for some food then. Uh, anyone? Be smarter than a fly. Think! Jesus said God loved the people of this world so much that he gave his only son, so that everyone who has faith in him will have eternal life and never really die. God came into the world as a baby for you. You are important to him. You can become a friend of his. Even now! Wow, Jesus the King of the whole world was born in a stable. In a stable, yes. With the smell. Oh, yes. Ooh. The king of the whole world came to earth for you and for me, and this was the start of his rescue mission. Rescue mission, rescuing us from our sins. Again, I've used that word sin. Um, you probably should know by now. What does that word mm, mean, What Hannah? does it mean, Messy Church? It means all the things we've ever done wrong. Jesus forgives us and washes us clean. We have to say sorry, don't we? We have to Absolutely. mean when we say sorry and try not to repeat those things. And Jesus loves us so much that he wants to forgive us for the wrong things that we do. And Hannah, that is such an amazing rescue mission that Jesus came on, didn't he? That is fantastic. I feel so loved by God. What a journey we've been on, Josh. It's been exciting, hasn't it? It's been fantastic. We've explored hope and love and joy and peace. And here we are at the final part of our journey with the stable. Well, our journey, although it ends over here, but our journey with Jesus doesn't end. It never ends. He is always, always with us and we are always with him. And he loves you. He loves me and he loves everyone. And his love for us is never ending. Let's pray to close and we're going to pray with bubbles today and when you have um, got some bubbles, if you need some let me know, if you um, blow them, when they pop you can say a quick prayer and then when they pop you say Amen. So you've got to do really fast, lots and lots of prayers. Are you ready? Let me see if I can blow bubbles quick enough and pray. <laughs> Father God, we thank you. You are awesome. Pop! And... Let's try again. We thank you that you are the king. Pop! <laughs> I'm getting bubbles everywhere. I hope you are too. We thank you, Lord, that you reign and you set us free. Pop! Don't know if you can see that one over there, but it's a big one. <laughs> Last one. Keep us safe, we pray, Jesus. Amen! Happy Christmas, guys. God bless. Bye! Well, thanks for joining as well. Um, I pray that you all have a lovely Christmas and a blessed New Year. But don't forget to join us um, to come and collect your packs uh, from us. Uh, all the information that you need will be on our Facebook page, the Message yes. Church Facebook page. And um, we really look forward to seeing you. Absolutely. I cannot wait to make a Chris Dingle together and then have our Chris Dingle Zoom on Christmas Eve. All the information is on our Facebook group page. That is amazing. Looking forward to it. I hope you all have a lovely Christmas and a blessed New Year. Merry so, Christmas. Bye for now. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Oh yes. Ooh, I must say Ooh, it is rather strong right now. <laughs>
right here. <laughs> it is smelly, isn't it? <laughs> we don't even need to check our shoes. It is, it is pretty smelly, isn't it? <laughs> I think we should keep. And we look forward to seeing you. <laughs> Dude.